What's cracking YouTube Primal here and today guys we're going to be going over top 10 mag guns that I'm using for my personal loadout. Um, honestly, I, I was having a very hard time putting together these loadouts mainly because of how the bounce patches worked and all. So these are not going to be in any considerable order from greatest to least or least to greatest. These are just what I am currently running and ranked. Um, so yeah. Um, as you guys might see, I haven't grinded rank that much. It's mainly because I've been grinding BR, trying to get double legendary and stuff so we can earn stamps to get that crate in season six. Anyways, guys, let's crack on into my gunsmiths. So here we go. So, starting off, we have the DLQ. DLQ, in my opinion, is still number one sniper to go with, even though it did receive nerf, especially with the mag attachment and all and damage decrease. It's still, in my opinion, one of the best guns to use for sniping if you're an SD or if you are a respawn sniper. Personally, I'm more of an SD sniper or private lobby sniper, especially when it comes to closer maps where I can get my flex and movement going. <laughs> Alright, uh, coming up next. So, up next, we are running the Holger 26. Yes, guys, I do run the Holger 26 for certain maps, like Fine Range, where I'm going to need to try and wall bang and try and um, push the enemy team out of hill, or if I know I need to hold the hill down, and I need a pre-fire gun. The Holger is my go-to weapon, unless, of course, you're running the Ballista or the Reactor Core, which are two of the worst operators to use. Well, the three worst operators to use are Ballista, which is the one that sees through the walls, Reactor Core, <laughs> and Purifier. Mainly because those... It's like, they really don't need skill, skill-wise, but, uh, sorry if I go on rant, rant, but yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> using for my loadout, um, I'll show you the perks I'm using as well. So, for all my classes, I'm running Skulker, all except for my sniper, where I'm running lightweight, so I can have extra movement, especially when... Just sprinting. Um, so next. For Green Park. I am running Cold Blooded. For Sniper Wise. I'm running the Toughness Perk. So if I do get shot. I can still hit my shots. Better and all. So yeah. Next. Depending on if I'm doing ranked. Lobbies. Or scrim lobbies. For ranked. I run Hardline. But for. Scrims, I personally run Dead Silence, mainly because if I'm in s and lobby, I'm just crouch walking around the map, or if I know I have clear line sight with my earbuds in, I'll just sprint, then halfway through sprint, like down one lane, I'll stop and um, try and hear for sounds. So those are some of the perks I use. Uh, so yeah, next... I am running the KN44. KN44, in my opinion, feels way better than the Krig. Um, yes, I still run the Krig, but I did throw the KN44 on after the nerf to the Krig. Both guns still feel the same, and I'll get into my Krig build later on in the video, so make sure to check that one out. So, next, we do have the Maddox. Um, part of the reason why I didn't really get the video out before till now guys is mainly because Maddox did receive a um nerf to and all so I do apologize I've been testing Maddox out seeing what the build is that I want to run this is also the exact same build that when I was expecting the number one Maddox guy in from what I saw on Bobby's this is the exact same build the guy uses and personally, I was running the Echo Fire mod till the nerf it received last week. 
And then I realized it wasn't that good of a barrel, so I was like, okay, I had to really change up my build because I prefer a faster ADS build or um, strafe because, in my opinion, this is a good strafe and you just have to make sure to hit your shots before you strafe too hard with the rifle. So next, we have the chopper. Yes, guys. I do run the chopper. It's like I don't break out the chopper and I don't break out the holger unless I'm forced to on certain maps. Um, but personally, I do not run these. I am more of the AR SMG main, as you guys can see from my other builds and stuff. <clears throat> um, also, guys, if we can get five likes more, I will... Make loadouts for sniper builds and another video for marksman builds of what you guys should run if you want to try and sweat with those guns. So, five likes or more and we will do those videos. So, yeah. Alright, next. So, next up we do have the Cosmos... Krig, not Krig. The Cosmos CBR-4. The CBR did receive a nerf, but it wasn't a significant nerf. CBR still reigns supreme as the number one SMG to use. Here's the exact same build I've been using for the past few seasons. Still is one of the best builds, in my opinion. Um, Personally, I would take off a WC Tac laser, throw on disabled, depending on if you're whatever you're in mood for and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, next. So, next up we do have the Krig 6. Yes, I did get the Dark Matter skin for the Krig 6. Honestly, a very, very beautiful skin for the Krig. Um, but if you do have the Mythic version, um, here is the build I am personally running. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah it's firm. What am I doing? Sorry. So, here is the build I run for the Mythic version, but... For the default version, I run the optical because the iron sights on the Krig are not really good on the base iron sights. Unless, of course, we get some sort of new epic skin where it's a pay win or a cleaner iron sight. Um, or in future, we get a Krig bow pass skin where the iron sights are way cleaner or something like that, but we'll just have to see for future. Honestly, even though the Krig 6 did receive a significant nerf, well, not a significant nerf, even though it did receive a nerf um, to the magazines and to one of the barrels, this gun is still reigning supreme and ranked, and I highly recommend you guys use it. So next, next we, uh, for an honorable mention, I am running the Kilo 1 for 1. The Kilo 1 for 1 is one of my favorite yards to use, especially on maps with long um, corridors or long path, long lanes where I can just sit on a heady or just have a open field view and just absolutely melt people with the kilo 141 so next so next up we do have the fennec the fennec in my opinion is still one of the best close-up range guns to use it is still a very strong viable option on close range maps like nuketown russia nuketown in general um trying to think of other close range maps. I've just been playing custom lobbies where it's more wider angles where certain guns like these are not really as effective as they should be. And I do apologize if my voice is hoarse. I've just been talking with people so much and that it's starting to go. And I apologize. So, next. We have the M13. The M13, in my opinion, is one of the best ARs. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try the M13 in a private lobby scrim, and oh my gosh, it's back. 
this is the build I used, and I highly recommend it that you guys use it. Um, on the default version, hang on a sec. So on the default version, you guys might be thinking, Primal, why on God's green earth are you... You're probably thinking Primal. The iron sights on the M13 base are not good. Honestly, the base iron sights for the M13 are really good. They're not like the Krig where you need the optic. Same with the Kilo 1 for 1. So if you do have the base version, it's still good in my opinion. So yeah, also... Let me know if we should have Dark Matter as a completionist camo. And I mean like this, where it's animated, not just a epic skin. But let me know in the comment section below. Alright, going into the last build we have. Going into the last build, we do have the PP-19 Bison. Yes, guys, I do run the PP-19 Bison for that extra pre-fire and f for warm-up lobbies. And ranked or pub before doing scrims and all. So, yeah. also, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys, and peace out. Bye.